What's going on guys? So today I'm not going to do as much as a DIY but more of a follow through as we install the charge piping on my 2022 M440i. I went with a company called TCM or True Crane Motorsports. I'm really excited that it came in red. Uh, there's some good, some bads. We can talk about all of those uh, at the end of the video. You can see some pros and cons that I have but I'm really excited to get this in there and add a little bit of of color to the engine bay. So here is our, our finished installation pick. It really wasn't that bad. It probably took hour, hour and a half or so. So let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and let's get started. First thing of course, we're going to want to just undo the battery. I know it sounds simple, but uh, you never know what's going to happen with any of the electrical or any of the sensors that we're un unplugging. So better safe than sorry. Just undo the battery. Then we're going to come up to the front start with some simple things like getting rid of these strut braces that are across and then we'll get into some of the wiring, take out some of the intakes and etc. We went ahead and started by just unclipping all the little sensors that are connected to the charge piping, to the hoses and anything that we could see that would kind of be in our way, some of the little brackets and whatnot and basically you're just one after another after another up, down and work your way across. From there of course we're gonna undo the intake. Uh, I already have an aftermarket intake by Burger Motorsports so we're just gonna take this intake tube apart to filter out the piping. But basically a stock intake is the exact same method and then you just pull this thing out of the grommets, lift it out and we're gonna remove some of the charge piping and get this thing out of the way so that we can get in there and get the uh, actual charge pipe for the turbos. Here's the intake box. You're gonna have to reach in there and unclip this thing. It's kind of a hassle, but eventually once you get in there and you get the little clip out, you're gonna need this because it connects to the turbo and to the intake housing. It's in the way for the charge pipe. So go ahead, finick with this for a little bit, but eventually you'll get it to pop out and it feels good. Boom. There it is. Now over here we're going to start taking out the actual bolts for the intake piping. It would be easier to take the other strut bar off but in this case we just left it and went around it. And uh, we're just taking out all the little allen heads that connect the intake tube to the throttle body. And then we're going to get ready to take this bad boy out. Once you get everything taken apart, just slowly and carefully start figuring out if there's anything still connected, any wiring, any hoses, and slowly but surely start working your way to feeding the charge pipe tube out of the engine bay. Now here's a couple of things. So this has some bungs on it that are designed, I don't know, to put in sensors or nitrous, I don't know. But they're not very good. They're not MPT, they're just standard threading. So they're actually kind of annoying. So we had to use thread tape and some lock, Loctite and we wrapped up the little Allens that came with it, which aren't very deep in the first place. This is one of the cons to this piping. I mean, here in this next shot, you'll see, look at how deep that Allen goes in there. And again, because it's not NPT, it doesn't really tighten. You just gotta get it in there, which is really stupid. Now check this out. Here's some of the bad. None of the screws work, and I'll let you just hear our conversation as we're putting this together. <laughs> Does not even come close. No, I want to put it in it's, like that's not gonna work. Eh, it's definitely not gonna work. <laughs> So we'll just take out the stock ones. Is that what these ones are? Well, so uh, they ended up being, they sent two, where's your little parts baggie? They sent two of these. For the charge pipe to the throttle body. But even these are shorter than the factory ones. And I didn't like that. <laughs> This is the factory throttle body, and this is the one they send you. Oh, yeah, quite a bit. So I was like, well. None of them are gonna work. 
Yeah, so like when we when you said it in there, there's yeah. not much that sticks out. That no, makes God. So, yeah. I was like, oh, I'll do, it's I'll even worse. The factory back in. That way you have. Yeah, you plenty know. of clearance now. I was like, oh. Then I just took this guy and used it for the sensor. Oh, there you go. So yeah, once we got all of our screws figured out, because the screws that they gave us don't work, uh, it's time to install. So we put the bottom half in there, got it all clipped in, and then from there we're going to work our way back up, making sure to put on our clamps and our connectors and everything else. And basically you're just going the reverse of how you took it apart. And that's literally it. So I guess now let me talk about some of the, the cons about this piping. Uh, well, nothing really fit that well. Look at the angle of this tube. It's not very straight. I mean, it could have been designed a little bit better and come out a little bit further. Plus, with that being said, I mean, look at this little angle that's in there. And then as far as clearance goes, the other factory plastic tube had a little indent for this coolant hose that's sitting up on the top and this one does not. So now you can see the charge pipe is actually actually touching that hose. Now we don't think it's going to be much of a problem. It's just barely touching it, but it would have been nice if they came out a little bit further and uh, cleared out that, uh, that piping. But all said and done, it's in there, it works, it's just a splash of color, and now there's no fear of the stock plastic tubing breaking or having any issues down the road. So this was our install of the charge pipe for an M440i.